leading cause of teenage deaths nationwide, car accidents. Way through to Heather Mathis is live in Huntsville with how local students hope to make that statistic a thing of the past. Heather? Well, Deborah, it's a very scary statistic. One in four teens are likely to get in a car crash because of this right here, their cell phone. That's why hundreds of students across North Alabama got to experience today firsthand what can happen if you get distracted behind the wheel. I just, I felt like I couldn't really, like, see anything. Like, I felt like it was just, like, really unexpected and that, like, it just, like, showed up out of nowhere. Casey Shrum may only have crashed a pretend car while texting and driving, but the message of real life consequences hit home. It's like with other people, you're putting other people at danger. The Alabama law enforcement agency worked with several other groups to host your keys to drive, teaching teens who are either new to the road or about to get their license all the ways you can get distracted by getting hands on. If anybody's on the road like that, I don't see how they can drive. I and mean, you can't even walk a line like that. I don't see how you can drive with that kind of intoxication. Students also got to hear an emotional message from Mike Letzenkirken, whose son, an Auburn football star, Philip, died in a car crash last year. Philip wasn't wearing a seatbelt, and officials say he and the driver were both intoxicated. You hope the kids pick up and realize, you know, I, I'm not a paid speaker. This is a real life story of, of somebody who I think they can associate with. Brighton Frost is a sophomore this year, just a few months away from getting his license. Wednesday's message is one he says he will take with him on the road. I'm most definitely not going to drink and drive. You may not be here the next day after you have that wreck. Now, this was the fourth Your Keys to Drive seminar that has been held throughout the state of Alabama just this year. If you want more tips on how to talk to your teen about staying safe on the roadways, just head to waytv.com and click on the Roadway Warrior section. Live in Huntsville, Heather Mathis, Way 31, Hometown News. Thank you, Heather. Happening today, Cabela's in Huntsville is